Hi, this is Paul. Uh, thanks for thanks for liking my page. Um, I've had a request, or I've had a few requests, to do a video for Inspector Gadget, which I've already done before, but I've never done an instructional video before. This is the first instructional video I've ever done before. Um, it's a bit late at night, which is why my voice is, voice is a bit croaky. Uh, and I am a Geordie. Well, technically not, but, you know, we all, we all come under the same bracket, if you're anywhere south of Sunderland, basically. Um, so, I'm going to take you through uh, the bits that I play, the way I play it, uh, and I'll talk about some of the chords that are in it as well, some of them are quite interesting, I think, anyway. So the first one, it's in A minor, and I'll play the first little bit. So that's, so that's just an A minor scale. A, B, C, D, E. But instead of doing it in a normal sort of open way, I find that a bit boring. I could do that. But I, I don't like that. I don't, I don't know why, I just don't like it. I like things to flow together, so instead I hold the A on the E string, and I do a bit of a hammer on between B and C, and then a hammer on between D and E. So I'm actually going across three different strings there. Oops. <laughs> In the G sharp from the E major chord. And then to a B. And then on from there. Uh, there we've got the in comes the alternate bass, the Chad Atkins uh, thing. I'm a big Chad Atkins fan, I don't know if you've, <laughs> don't know if you've ever noticed that. Uh, this is tricky because you've got a do alternate bass while doing pull-offs. Um, and which is tricky to get get going. So the alternate bass stops there. And then a nice little pull-off it again. Um, I like things to ring together, so I like to do things like that. And then we're into the main, the main part of it. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, so when I did this, I had it in my head. I had those chords in my head. Just get rid of my little battery sign. Uh, and so I tried to put them together, which was hard. So what I did there, again alternate bass, and then an F, D in it as well, which is quite strange, but you haven't really got time to think about it, it doesn't really register with you. And then an E with a nice G sharp in the, in the top there as well. And I, love, I love this chord, it's another Chakens chord, uh, it's an E augmented 7, it's a sharp 5, E7, and then your minor 3rd on the top there as well. So we've got the A minor. Call that an F major seven sharp eleven something like that. No, it's not one of them. It's something like that anyway. And then that E augmented. E seven flat nine. Quick A minor chord and then a harmonic. Seven A minor, and then comes the uh, B flat chord as well, which is a nice outside chord, and then it comes back into A minor again for that. So in that in that uh, melody, you might notice I'm doing a hammer on between B and C. I think that's just the way it worked out, where I could play it comfortably while 
doing that. It took me, I took me, six, I think a good hour to sit and practice this. I don't think anyone was in at that point, so it was all right. And everything else is picked, so it's just that hammer on between B and C. So there you go, so there's the first section. Uh, that repeats around again. And then after that we've got a nice little, another annoying part, which which took me a long time to practice. I, 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 when I do arrangements, I like, I like to keep it interesting. Interesting, hard, same thing. So basically what we've got, we've got a nice little transition in octaves going F to E, and then A to G sharp. C to B and then F to E. So we're taking over that sort of Spanish sort of sound that you get. So again it's it's quite difficult in just getting that, I'll just show you. Here's my F and I purposely do like that with those fingers so I can get my E with your middle finger. And then I swap to an A like this so I can move that back to a G sharp and get my little finger on a G sharp because you can't do a G sharp on the A string because it's not there. So that's quite difficult that bit. Uh, C to B and F to E are the same movement where you've got your first and your third finger to your middle finger and then the same on the top two, well the, the E string and the D string as well. So I'll just do that slowly again. F. section which is something like this etc etc so the middle section I went for a proper so a more more Tommy Manuel I think that's the guitar to get the nice, uh, ah, yeah, Tommy Manuel Mill Trap or something like that. So, even doing something like that takes a lot of practice. And then up to a G with a quick pull off from a, from the B on the 12th fret to the A on the, on the 10th fret. And then oh, I'll do that again. A C6 chord with that, and also got my thumb on the top there as well. Sometimes you can do it like that, but then you have to move your hand like that. So I, I like to try and keep me uh, keep me options open for my fingers. So I try to use my thumb where I can if I have to put it over the top, and it means I can get that open E string in at the top there. If I was doing a bar, I would have to take my finger off like that. So I'll do that again, D minor, G, F, C6, there's a little F on your little finger there, before you play the open E, and then the same again, D minor, catch the open E string, and let that ring through the rest of this bit. Nice little sixth there. Just octaves from an A. There we go, I've got my 10th fret on the B string and 7th fret on the D string. And there I'm playing it with my thumb and my finger. You could play it with just your thumb. Um, and then E7A. Uh, and then on from that. Just to finish this off quickly because I think my battery's going to run out. It's on 1% great. Some tremolo picking. Strumming. 
type of thing. So F to E, A to D sharp, C to B, F to E, and then this nice little. So that again was just octaves, but I've got an open B string in all of these. So I'm going C, sort of a banjo roll. each one, moving down chromatically, onto my octaves on the A, and then a B flat finish. There we go. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, have fun playing it. See my other video for uh, the whole version. Uh, I'll try and record another one without any mistakes, because I didn't make mistakes in the other one. Uh, before my battery goes, good night, bye bye, thank you.